I'm your host, Vanessa Henning. I'm here today interviewing Police Chief Andrew Schatz. Andrew, how are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. I was wondering if you could tell me a little bit about what the process is to become a, an officer here. First, you have to apply. Um, mm -hmm. And we're kind of going over that right now because uh, we are in, in the hiring process. Um, we need to hire three officers. So the first thing we do is accept applications and we'll advertise that. People will take an, out an application and then they have a deadline that they need to have that submitted to us by. Um, everyone that turns in an application will get an invitation to the testing and we're actually having our testing um, June 8th, I'm sorry, July 18th on a Saturday. Um, so they'll show up and they'll have a written test, uh, they'll have a spelling test, and then they have a physical agility test. And our physical agility test are the same standards that the Indiana Law Enforcement Academy uses. So we'll go through the, the testing phase and then once they make it through that, they'll, we'll do uh, background investigations and then probably two mm -hmm. or three interviews. Um, and then ultimately the Board of Works is the governing body of the city that, that offers, the offers the position to the, the patrolman. So that's a lot of steps. It seems very intense. It is, and it, it's time consuming also. Right, um, I'm sure. I'm it, sure. It usually, like I said, we just got done Accept, accepting applications mm -hmm. and uh, testing will be uh, July 18th and I don't expect that we'll have an officer hired before October 1st. So it really is a lengthy process. Yeah, uh, like a, we'll do the testing and then it'll take, we'll probably take uh, about three weeks to do the background investigations mm -hmm. on the ones that pass the tests. Right. Um, and then from there we'll do a, bring them all in for an interview in front of the command staff, oh, wow. which is myself and the assistant chief and the, the, the sergeant and the two corporals. I'm sure that's intimidating. It can be. It was intimidating for you when you... Well, they, we never had that when I, oh, okay. when I went through. Uh, I've been on uh, 16 years now. So how did you end up here? I'm from here. I was born and raised in mm -hmm. Rochester. I graduated here in 1995. I went to Vincennes University uh, for law enforcement, and then uh, when I, right when I turned 21, just I got hired in May, and mm -hmm. when I was 21, um, I, I turned 22 in July. So I got hired right before I turned 22, um, I, and I wanted to come back here to my hometown and work and I've been here ever since and I love it and give back a little bit to you absolutely yeah so did you know the entire time that you wanted to go into law enforcement or is that something you stumbled upon or something you've known ever since you've been in kindergarten and it's one of those things in high school um, mm -hmm. just thinking about what you want to do when, and I think I might have been like a sophomore or junior when I thought yeah I think this is interesting so I started looking into it and um, I decided to go to uh, further my education by going to Vincennes and uh, study law enforcement and, and when I was there I really liked it. So I you liked, got hooked. Yeah and this I applied to Akron Mm -hmm. um, just to, to get a job somewhere, right. to get my foot in the door. Um, I was only 20 when I went through the hiring process. You have to be 21 right. by the time you graduate the police academy. So okay. we can hire you if you're 20 as long as you'll be 21 by the time you graduate the police academy. Um, and that's, a, I think, a 14-week academy now. Uh -huh. So typically what we'll do is we'll hire a person and we'll put them through what's called our FTO phase, the FTO. field training officer. They'll okay. go with the they'll go with the field training officer for uh, six to eight weeks, depending on how much experience the person has. Mm -hmm. um, it could be up to ten weeks, um, just learning the job, basically on the job training. All right. Um, so we want to find out if this person is going to work for us. If it's going to work out, if it's a good fit, if they like the job, right. before we send them to the academy and invest all that time and effort into them. But that makes complete sense. Um, there's a lot of uh, bigger departments that they'll hire them and send them straight to the academy and they'll never see a day on the road. And then so they'll, they'll spend, you know, the, the 14 weeks at the academy and then they come back to their own home department and go through the FTO right. process then. Wow. So everybody has their own perspective and their own take on, on the, 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 the way it works out. Mm -hmm. um, we found that it works well for us to get them through our training first, um, 
see if it's going to be a good fit for them, if they like it, if it's, if it's going to work out, uh, then we'll send them to the academy. They have a year, up to one year, um, upon their first appointment mm -hmm. to complete the academy. Okay. So. Very cool. I never knew any of this. Yeah. So, um, like I said, it's usually they'll be on um, anywhere from four to six months, depending on where we are um, as far as manpower and staffing. Right, right. Um, yeah, right now, we've got two at the academy. They graduate Friday. Mm -hmm. Oh, so, well, that's soon. Yeah. Um, they've been gone since, I think it was March, maybe. Wow. Um, so but excited uh, to see how that turns out. Yeah. Uh, they're two really good guys. Uh, they're going to work out well for us. Uh, they've got the right demeanor to do the job. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Um, and, and yeah, they're going to come back Friday just in time for the parade. There we go. So Perfect timing. They graduate Friday afternoon and they're going to work Friday evening. Very cool. One last question. Yep. What do you actually do as police chief? I basically control the day-to-day -day operations of the department. I, I make sure that the department runs smoothly. Um, I make out schedules and tell the guys where they need to work. Um, I take a lot of phone calls. I really, I've been doing, I've been in my position now for just over a year. Mm -hmm. It was last May that I got appointed the chief of police and that's an, an appointed position by the mayor. Um, I've been doing it a little over a year, and, and I really didn't know what to expect. Do you like um, it? I, I love it. I absolutely oh, love great. it. Um, it's a lot more intense and involved than I thought it would be. I thought I would have some administrative things to do, but then I right. could still go out and help the guys with calls. or and do or, what you know to do. Yeah, what I'm used to. Right. And I don't get to do that very often at all, and I miss that. I miss mm -hmm. the interaction with the public. Um, I miss talking to people and being out there on calls and helping people. Um, but I, I think in my in my role, I still get to help out quite a bit. Yeah, definitely. Well, Andrew, thank you so much for your time. It's been great learning and just talking to you. I, I really appreciate it. I appreciate you guys taking the time. Thanks. Thanks so much.